Hi, I'm Dominique, and I'm here to show you how to create a recurring job. You can convert a quote into a job or schedule a new job from scratch. You can also create a job from the client's profile page, the Quick Create button in the side navigation, from home, or from the schedule. If you didn't create from the client's page, the first thing you'll do is choose a client or create a new one. Type the name of the client or scroll through the list to use an existing client. You can enter a short job title here. This is what you'll use to reference the job on the schedule for quick details. You can enter in some instructions here as well. These are where you could get into more details about the work. The job number shows on the right side here. If you want to change this, click Change. Job numbers will auto-generate one higher from the highest job number in the account. You would then select the Recurring Job option. Then select a start date. This is when the contract starts. Often the first visit date is selected as the start date as well. If you need to reference your schedule, you can expand or hide a month preview of the calendar so that you don't end up with double bookings. For the duration, you are choosing the length of the contract. You could have agreed with the customer that they would sign up for a year, at which point they would renew. This can be adjusted later if needed. You can choose the specific times for the visits or leave this blank. Then you can choose the visit frequency. You have a lot of options here. Jobber will give you a few common choices based on the day you are scheduling, or you can choose custom schedule. You could have visits set to weekly on Monday or set it to monthly on the 15th or monthly on the first and third Monday. You can even say monthly, every three months on the first for quarterly visits, whichever works best for your business. You could also choose as needed, we won't prompt you, if you want to manually create visits each time. This is great for something like snow removal when there isn't a way to know the schedule in advance. You can assign your crew here by selecting the plus sign and then the crew members. Just like with the visit scheduling, you can also schedule the invoicing. First off, you have an option to choose visit-based or fixed price billing. Visit-based billing would be charging per service. If you have a weekly cleaning, but they ask for an extra one or cancel one, this would affect the monthly invoice as there would be more or less services you are billing for. Visit-based billing also allows you to add line items to each visit, which would affect that price as well. Fixed price billing is a set invoice price each time. Let's say you agree on a $300 per month contract. No matter how much or how little work is completed each month, the invoice is for $300. This is often used for snow removal or similar workflows. Then you have the option of choosing when to invoice. This works just like the visit frequency scheduler. You could invoice monthly, weekly on Mondays, or after each visit. Invoicing monthly on the last day of the month will create an invoice reminder at the end of each month, and the job will only go into requires invoicing at the end of the month. After each visit, we'll put the job in requires invoicing status each time a visit is completed. You can also choose as needed, we won't prompt you, if you do not want to create invoices for this job. Finally, you'll add your line items. Start typing to add an existing line item, or type the info you want to add a new one. Choose the quantity and unit price. When you are ready, click Save Job to save it, or Save and to create another job or send the customer a booking confirmation. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to check out our Help Center or our other videos. We can also be contacted directly by phone, email, or live chat.